Hey guys. <clears throat> um, I wanted to um, make a video on at the front um, car 98 uh, pouches. Um, so I've had these for a while now and I haven't really gotten to reviewing them. So um, yeah, I, I don't like this isn't going to be a normal thing where I review products, but I think I will be reviewing some things like my uh, tunic um, and uh, maybe like the gas mask canister. But um, yeah, this is the first thing that I'm starting off with. So these are at the front, uh, new run of ammo pouches. By new run, I mean like tw uh, I bought these in 2019, late 2019. So they should still be available as of uh, now, March 29, 2020. Um. So, uh, right off the bat, they don't look the best. Um, as you can see, the stitch lines are way too big. And the pebbling size is also uh, way too large for the actual ones. Um, right here, it's got a square ring, which, uh, instead of a D ring, it's like a square. Which wasn't too common. Um... I've seen more D-rings in original pictures and such, but a good thing is that um, in their old run, this used to like snap off a lot because it was really fragile. Um, so they reinforced the leather. That's good. <clears throat> Another thing that I noticed is um, uh, it's a good leather quality. Um, you know, it's it's like durable, good leather quality. If we open it up right here um, another thing that they fixed is the uh, divider it's a much thinner material than like the uh, than the uh, big leather material that they used uh, back then I, I believe it's actually cowhide now which is accurate um, I don't know like I, I'm pretty sure stripper clips would fit in there for the car 98 but uh, yeah Anyway, <laughs> um, you know, they're, uh, good quality, but, um, they're not exactly the most accurate, so, yeah. Anyway, the, on the other one, it's exactly the same. Um, I haven't really gotten around to using these, that's why they look so new, but, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, they're durable, I like them. I don't really have originals to compare them to, but they're close enough, other than a few differences here and there. Um, the D-ring thing, um, it, it did exist, so I guess it's accurate, but like, it wasn't as common as a D-ring. <laughs> anyway, um, I think these are really good pouches for, like, beginners, um, getting into the reenactment because they're cheap. They're only like 50 bucks. I think while the good ones are like 80 or a hundred dollars So I think if you're getting into the hobby you should like um, you should definitely get these Because I've seen other ones that are just really bad um, Quality that would like rip really easily These are actually good quality leather um, but unfortunately they weren't uh, made accurately um, the biggest uh, thing that I notice is probably the stitching, how it's too large, um, and the pebbling, how it's also too large. Um, so, yeah. Um, I know this was a little bit of a short video, but uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.